All right. Gangplank. Whew. All right. Okay, so Grasp of the Undying, Demolish, Bone Plating, and Overgrowth with Biscuit's Time Warp as secondaries. I don't think anyone deviates from this build, do they? Unless it's to go second win rather than Bone Plating. That's like pretty much the only deviation that uh, exists, huh? Everything else is pretty much cut and dry. There's no reason to go anything else build wise. Get some. Thank you, Skitty, for the 27 months. You're awesome. Good night. Have a nice one. Thank you again for dropping in just to pop that. Uh, prediction. I don't know. People that don't have the money for pay code, you probably don't have the money for good computers. That's understandable. But I mean, the the worst part is, uh, yeah, people that come in and uh, intentionally waste other people's time for it. Anyway. This is probably about the barest minimum of uh, quality options that I will accept. Though I have asked him to up the bitrate for future uh, VODs, if possible. Though I think he's the one that asks other people to record for him. In which case, I hope they can record better. Soinks. The longer league is out, the longer the bare minimum spec computers becomes. I mean, truthfully, I feel like we're at a point now where people like will start to upgrade to like bare minimum. And I feel like it will actually be better off to a point where it won't matter as much. Like, my, my computer was a really old, like, POS, right? And I was actually perfectly able to, like, stream. Stream. Games. It wasn't per- Why is your Ramus dead? Okay. Ramus rolled over. Yeah, look, it's a strange one. All right, so GP versus Irelia matchup. Did you miss your first... Wait, you missed your first minion because you were so confused about her running at you. So you autoed her instead. I mean, truthfully, like, this is a free trade that you get from this because you can use everything from that. The best part about, like, GP's early game is that in almost every situation, as long as you, like, land a few cues in between, you'll be fine. But you should still be aiming to go for the early CS without fucking around here. If I would have hard auto to get to level 2 as fast as possible. Just purely so that you'd be able to have W ready. Oh, you went for E rather than W. That's why you should have gone W. I would have rather you went W here. You're gonna die. Fucking hell, you should have gone W! If you went W second here, you would have won that fight. Because truthfully, there's no universe where she can actually tank your entire minion wave plus your passive and everything for it if you, like, heal back up and use um, your biscuit and your time warp tonic, like, in succession to get that out. So I'm a little bit mad that you got, went ahead and sort of gave that away. The main the main issue that comes with it when it comes to dealing with like top lane early on is that if you're not getting to level two as fast as possible, which means yes, you will have to auto like some of these parts of the wave to actually get to this as fast as possible. But I am very, very like very awkward on the fact that you're not actually trying to get to level two so you can at least hold your hold the line for yourself. Because and against Irelia, if you're able to keep poking her down, she won't be able to engage on you like she did before. She's literally waiting for all of her sustain to kick in, and if you keep pressuring her while that's happening, and then heal up from that, you will win. But unfortunately, you let her run onto you like that, and you die. But yes, not insta pushing the wave since coming back. This is good because it's on your side, which means with enough patience, you will actually still be able to manage here. You know what? I lied. Now I'm actually nervous about what you're trying to do here, but at least read. No, get the barrel, uh, get the cannon minion, get the cannon minion. Wow, the, wait, no, nothing attacked the cannon minion. You are the luckiest player I've ever seen. But again, you're literally coming away with this, like, with this free trade. And yeah, if you actually were just patient with it prior to, you would have had no problems with this at all. 
Now there's actually a higher chance that you might... We all just witnessed him just flash onto that, even though he probably could have hit the Q and not, not had any issues there. But that's alright. He's going to flash onto you. Okay, good. Cool. Just keep running. Yep, good, 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 good. I like to save the passive for Irelia. If you're going to like aim to get the passive up so that you can kill Irelia with it, then you should be 100%... Wait, why would you Q that? Oh my god. That, that hurt. How long is the VOD queue right now? Uh, if you link your account, to, uh, your Twitch account to Discord, you can see the queue, but the queue is like, there's still about three or four VODs left. It would have been less if I didn't get fucking trolled during one of them. Fucking hell. But yeah, the main thing that I get that you're trying to do, I did not know that. Sorry, man. I get, I remember you were brand new yesterday. I think you might have uh, been absent when I was trying to uh, explain it yesterday to the people that were gifted I fucked it up a bit. Do I review Duoka? Yeah, any any ranked Q is fine. I don't care. I, you, you can or cannot. It some. doesn't matter if you put the comms in. You don't have to. Thank you, Lopad, for the 16 months. You rock. Thank you very much. League has fallen so far from what it was in play. But yeah, look, you're not wrong. Full course, mate. I, I kind of miss the old days where, like, you know, it was just us laughing over crappy video games. <laughs> People had so much more respect two years ago. <sighs> nah, it's alright. It's alright. As long as as long as I still have my regulars, I'm okay. I'm happy. Hope you're doing well, full course, mate. Hope you're doing well. Now, the part that I wanted to discuss just briefly. So, with the whole gangplank barrel thing and like you stopping a heal, that part I'm totally cool with. But I would rather, if you're going to play on the defensive and I miss old wreck hitting dinosaurs with clubs, I should I mean, Monster Hunter Rise is coming out soon. Hopefully I can play that more on stream. But yeah, the main thing is just, I I really want you to try and get in the habit of breaking barrels before a trade so you have your passive up each time. But I think you're trying way too hard to be like hyper aggressive with it on top of breaking the barrel. And you're like, and you're basing a lot of the damage you have, like you already have Sheen in some of these cases. I think you just gotta just relax a little in lane phase, just focus on the basic poke and just keep it simple. I hope to become a regular, but I'll have to change my sleep schedule. Look, I totally understand if you're worried about like the way the schedule is going. I'm trying to fix it like to be earlier generally. A lot of it falls down to uh, daylight savings is the biggest issue. Daylight savings is like the hardest thing for me to deal with when it comes to uh, overseas time schedules on my own. <clears throat> Pretty sure you place barrel under yourself when I really has passive stack so you can get movement speed slow as she jumps on you. That's... That's what he did at the beginning, so it seemed. But I think he placed it a little too late and then missed the opportunity to attack and just ended up on the back foot anyway because he didn't have W the first time he went for it. Just remember, you don't have your ulti here, so you are purely going to rely on everything else to get through. You had Q there. You should have Q'd while you were running off. That's fine. But yeah, you're not using, like, you're not using, rather, you're not using your barrels to get your passive up on the regular, and I think you're just panicking every time she starts dashing at you. It was a good dodge to come back in, though. Like, when you were moving forward to dodge her E, that was really good. I swear. Good matchup knowledge. <laughs> the, the solid starting item uh, of Sheen into Executioner's Calling. I have that little problem of panicking. Understandable. I mean, Irelia is probably one of the weirder ones that you will have to worry about generally just because of the amount of movement that she possesses. But a lot of it comes down to if you know that your minion wave is going to be sent low by everything she's doing, you should just be poking at range and then only using your barrels outside of that. I would have rather you took the kill compared to Ramus, but that's okay. I'll take this opportunity to say fuck her. Yeah, look, looks alright. Is there a way to view replays from more than 20 games ago if you downloaded it? Uh, I don't believe so, but I don't accept anything that's not current patch, and truthfully, I would rather you send a POV video rather than a replay. I want to share the gold. Yeah, look, understandable, but you are a carry, and Ramus will function without it, and you have the same amount of kills anyway. So you would still feel better off actually going for that.
I meant for my own viewing. Um, I think OPGG can do it. But as long as it's same patch. Download a game that's saved in the right folder, but you need a... Uh, there's something you need to view it, and I don't have it. I don't roll with it. Ramus of God will just not die, which isn't that value. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the true thing. Is like, you don't really care about Ramus not dying in a lot of situations because in, like, he'll scale generally as it is, but you need to be able to still hurt people in between fights. They got Dragon, even though he died. Zoinks. I have it in the folder, but I can't figure out how to play it. There is a separate means to do so, but unfortunately, I do not know. There was a way to do it using, uh, there was like a bat file you had to use for it, but I don't know if that's still a thing. There you go. Go to the right folder, the League of Legends game, and use the right, like, you use the installation folder to make a, yeah, to make the thing for it. So that's the thing, you don't panic... Oh wow. You don't panic against her skill shots, you just panic when she starts running at you. Ooh. I would have been so much more careful about someone running up onto you for this. Plus, I think you used your ulti way too early here. I think you, you needed to wait a little bit for her to start running away, and then you use the ulti to slow them down. You shouldn't be afraid of her healing out of her ass when you have just as much sustain and you have execution as calling. So truthfully, like, you will not be worried about it, but, like, your movement is great here. But you should be capitalizing on her mistake by actually hitting the ulti down to cut off her, her movement. Like, her escape. Because when she's out of the... When she doesn't have the ability to dash around, she's stuck. So you're actually in, like, such a good spot for that. She just plain missed that one. We can't... We can't give him too much credit. That was... That was a plain out miss by your boy. Just as a note... If you're gonna if you're going to see us under tower, remember to wait for the tower to start shooting, so you have the time to kill the minion that it's shooting at, and you have time while it's rounding up to actually prep the rest of the minions in the in the line. I see. So you know she's going to keep going for this. Oh my god, she walked straight into it. That's that's so free. Honestly, I think you could have played that... Actually, you know what? I think you could have actually played into that because she wouldn't have had her ulti back yet and you could have actually played this aggressively. You play to run forwards here. You get a perfectly good trade. Now, from here, you should... Truthfully, you should just run down because you still have all of your... Your Q will come back up momentarily and your W is up to manage against the damage that she does to you. If you actually were dodging this... Oh, wait, hang on. I don't have a thing I want. Give me a second. I need this. If you actually, uh, hang on. If you actually make the play to run down this way, rather than, why is this so, hang on. If you actually make the plan to run down this way, you would actually be able to get a free kill there. Is it not better to Q barrel auto Irelia instead of auto barrel Q Irelia? Uh, I don't think he had his passive at the time when he went for it. His passive was still technically ticking down. So it, if he was passive, uh, sorry, if he was passive, if he was patient, he actually would have had time. But he didn't have the he didn't have the uh, he didn't have the the passive up at the time, so he just went for the barrel. Which honestly, I think if he waited, autoed him, like autoed the Irelia, and then queued the barrel, or like hit the barrel and then like chased him down and hit him again, would have been okay. But yeah, so pink and thick. Over. Full course. Don't inspire them. See, the hard part about doing uh, about doing replays is I can't actually watch what your movements are when you're trying to, like, play in lane. And that sucks, because I think this, there'd be a lot to garner from, like, what you're trying to do here. Don't worry, the fairy is gone. Damn right. Rev is asleep. They'll be back. They got that fairy hearing, man. They know. They know what's coming. Also, I'm getting the sense that someone edited this video, and that is why the quality sucks. Please don't edit. Just record it straight up, and upload it as it is. 
Also, just for future reference, when you're running into a fight like this, I would sincerely recommend... Well, obviously, that's I, I didn't I record it from the client. Is, why does it keep randomly cutting forwards then? Wait, you recorded it from the client? Did you use the client to record this or did you use OBS to record it? Okay, use OBS next time. That's why the quality is so shit. Never use the client to record anything. Just play the replay and then use OBS to record. Because that's why the quality is so shit. League, uh, league, league client recording is actually horrible. Like, it's so dog shit. And it's really bad process, too. So, everything will be better if you use OBS. Alright. Now, for this fight, the only thing you have to worry about here is getting burst down by, by Hecarim. Though, I think you use your W a little too early here, because it doesn't give you as much healing as it could. And plus, it doesn't, like, give you the opportunity to get away from him. Plus, if you actually go for, like, the, for the damage and then run away from him and cue the barrel, you will actually get the movement speed to possibly kite away from him. Plus, if he chase, if he wastes all that time chasing you and Ramus can then taunt him away, you will still win. So, just for future reference. It produces web and files. Oh, they're web and files? Blah, 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 Who should I play mid? Vega, Viego, Vi, or Ilawi? Ah, probably Viego. I heard Viego mid's quite solid at the moment. Also, for future reference, don't fast forward it either. I, I need to, I need to spend extra time talking while you're running back to lane. Let me have it, please. Let me have it. Let me have the time. I know you. I get you're impatient, and you want to just hurry through the recording process. But please, I need the time to talk. I don't hear my voice enough. <laughs> but yeah, Viego, Vega, uh, Ilawi, then Vi in that order. All right, sorry. Now you're fine, man. <laughs> But yeah, we've got so much ganking and fighting going on in these lanes. It's high time you actually made use of like the one, the one fights and skirmishes to start taking tower plates or towers. You do like it should have started happening at least two minutes ago, but it would it's only just come out worse for you. Now a note about your build: please build Essence Reaver first, and then build Shield Bow. That should be the build you're going for, and it will benefit you in the long haul because it is a better. Um, it is a better item path generally, and it scales better for your things. Thank you, Mad Mon Kong, for following. Can auto mage creeps once before the barrels, so you don't have to waste an extra barrel. Correct. You should be autoing the backline and then dropping and then exploding barrels on them generally. Spending gold doing the Nort Top special going for one 14 minutes in. What the? F <laughs> it's good times. With try, you one shot them. Yeah, but you want to scale better, bro. You will scale better overall with Essence Reaver. You should be going for Essence Reaver generally. Spellblade's so crappy generally. But I mean, generally you will one-shot them at, uh, like when you actually get the item, sure. But you weren't at that item yet. That's why we're telling you to do it. Sure, you one-shot them now, but you didn't before. I had a crack and say a Samira when 0 7 after 3 iron shields 1v5 in dumb chat. Yeah, it's a bit sad. Feel try isn't as good as a mythic item. It's good for some characters, but it definitely has this really awkward niche baked into it that doesn't make it as good as we'd like it to be. Because it's pure. Hey, Mystic sounds funny. Leave him alone. <laughs> That's what we call it in WoW as well. Instead of mythic, we call it Mystic. It's a good, it's a good meme. But yeah, like, I feel like what it actually like is intending to be. Like, if you're intending for uh, Triforce to be a really good item in the slot, it's not a good item. Like, it just does not do what it used to, as good as it could. And what it tries to do, like, what it tries to fill niche-wise doesn't give enough. But the thing is, though, like, you not if you're purely comparing damage metrics for, like, what GP had last season, sure, he might have done more damage last season, but you can do almost comparative level damage right now, but with better cooldown management and with more tankiness, because you can build shield bow and not give a shit about anything. Like, the fact that that's possible really, really, like, benefits GP in the long haul, right? And you have a better scaling version of Spellblade by default, so you have more upfront damage. 
Granted, crit isn't as amazing as it used to be, sure, but I think having a spell blade that actually scales is just infinitely more amazing. Also, you didn't watch out the backline because you didn't have a spell blade proc, smile. Hopefully he abuses Irelia after she wasted her all. I mean, to, to be fair, he should have a bigger lead than he does right now, but despite all the like early game kills that he got, it's not enough. Like farm wise is still incredibly far behind. There's just been too much brawling going on in top lane. It's not good. But yeah, the item itself. See, this is the other thing. Like when you ulti, I don't see where the hell you're throwing it. I can only assume you're throwing a bot lane to try and like stop them from like having issues there. Oh, this will be good if you hit this properly. Hey, nice. Mid lane frag. That was good. Oh, jeez. Straight in the paint. I mean, whoever asked him to abuse her, he definitely did it. He said, fuck it, and just went for it. It's good. How's the coaching going? It was fine until about a little while ago. Now it's getting better. Smacking that eye my <laughs> Hey! Not a good time to mention that. <clears throat> Is Nasus too weak now? Uh, ugh. Nasus is in a very awkward spot. Didn't get a lot of benefit from the new items, unfortunately. It's a bit sad when you think about it. Actually, nah. Gore Drink Asterix doesn't really work on Nasus. How unfortunate. TF Blade spams Nasus. Yeah, but would you really trust what TF Blade is doing generally? I mean, yeah, Divine Sunderer with, like, high stacks would be really good on Nasus, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't... It doesn't really ring a lot of bells for me as a really high, like, you know... I wouldn't say, like, Nasus is a, is a huge threat. I feel like Stride Breaker would be a, an alright idea. I trust Trey Blade to go right and then hit the table and that's about it. Yeah, that's a, that's a staple. That's a staple thing to expect. Understandable. But yeah, I don't know, I'm really iffy on Triforce as an item, just because it just doesn't seem to really hit the mark like what you're aiming for. And it's really strange where, like, bruises that would have benefited from tri Triforce originally because of what Spellblade offered and how well it worked out, are now opting for other items in, in its place because of the throughput that they give is still better in almost every way, because there's no, the, like, even the sustained damage that it might give doesn't give enough. It's just good on its, like... I think they succeeded in making Triforce a niche item that's really good for the people that it represents. But that's not enough to really make it say, Oh yeah, that's fucking great. But, like, meh. Sustained damage isn't anything. It, that's the thing. Like, if you want sustained damage, you would just go Gordrick because it gives sustained healing on top of it. But, that's the thing. It's like, the, the strange thing to just always go for is, is that e Essence Reaver is better because it gives you a better scaling option. In, like, for GP. But, like, yeah, just choice-wise, you just have better things to do. Like, for Hecarim, for instance, like, the high-end Hecarim one-tricks are favoring... Like, will end up favoring um, Stride Breaker instead of uh, Triforce. Like, there are just too many things to consider when you're looking at this type of thing. You are 100% skipping the play here. Don't act like you weren't editing this. I'm so confused. Just suddenly appearing at the next play. I TP'd. Camera cuts are too good. Nah, I'm messing. <laughs> so, Hecarim stole Drake off you, despite you having... Look, I'm really iffy on this, right? Because you're a, a global threat, I feel like you should be, like, doing more around the map, and you should be clearing that giant wave that's on your tower topside, because you're just, you should have paid attention to that way earlier. Your ulti and your TP should be used after the fact. Like, you should be actually, like, at the lane already, rather than TPing from base. Because I feel like the 
the state of the wave that you were in at that point is not particularly good. I haven't paid attention as such because of the like the state of the game, but you are in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, still got the trade. You didn't have flash either. I think the issue there was just getting caught out. I think if you managed to dodge us shit this time, you would have won it. But yeah, this is the one time you actually juked yourself and walked into the E rather than getting away. There's a lot of AP mids jungle supports building the Andrews and denying each other damage. Denying each other damage? Oh, you mean like it's just a crappy item? Is that what you're saying? Stridebreaker Vi can pull people back with their Q. Or well, she could. That's a weird one. Which way does it go? <laughs> which 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 is the driving force of Stridebreaker Vi? Is it the Q pulling her forwards or is the and knocking the person back, or is the Stridebreaker knocking her through the enemy and knocking them back? Q X Files music. The support hits a spell after the mid, it does lower damage to the support. Oh, because it wait, it doesn't set separately, it actually Wait, one overriding the other? That should be a bug, shouldn't it? Okay, considering that you're walled off from the enemy, you should be okay to kill Kekarim here without much losses. What an awkward fight. The, like, Anivia actually cut them off to the point where it was, like, sort of for the... I'm so awkward on you joining fights as GP when you have the, the global pressure. Like, you're being outside laned by an Irelia. And a lot of that really comes down to just the actual, like, fuck-up that was you losing that previous fight. I'm... Like, that's probably the only disappointing thing that you should be thinking about right now, is just being stuck on that. I think you should permit that. I think you should use your global pressure more. Like, you've had... You had a lead for a while... A lot of the... Okay, so this, there's two major issues here, right? The first is that despite, like, having a lead in lane and outplaying the Irelia, you're still behind on CS comparatively because you've not used the side lane advantage that you had. Not having that advantage doesn't actually, like... It doesn't give you any benefit overall. Also, you shouldn't finish Mortal Reminder ever. You actually should go for other items that give you better scaling because finishing Mortal Reminder isn't good for the slot. Sitting on Executioner's Calling until you're hella late game? Sure, no worries. But right now, not worth it. Go for better items. Uh, he's lagging. There we go. But yeah, the, um, the main issue as well, right? Like I said, because you're not managing your side lane very well, you're not getting good global pressure off, and you're not using that to be able to take other objectives around the map. You've taken one tower in top lane, but you've not done anything past that there's a lot more that you can do if you actually watch because you're watching the map rather well as far as i can tell but you're not using that advanced like you're not using that to your advantage in any way to actually get more objectives for yourself for the team usually on gp i split until 13 but why like you can still do more without having to worry about joining the fight Like, you can join fight with, with TP and such and, and ulti after the fact, sure. But, that like, if you don't have TP, sure, you should be, like, helping your team where you can, right? But there will always be, like, better choices when you have TP available to actually do more around the map. Man, that is laggy as shit. That, that's why you record using OBS and not the League Client, by the way. That is part of the reason it's just so awfully fucking optimized it's not funny also thank you for following unfortunately i cannot pronounce your name because i only speak english and bad english so uh if there is something you want me to call you by to thank you i will thank you either way i was concerned that room would steal for the second time look me too bro me too also hello ron the pun welcome mate scuffed british english someone someone told me it was called conglish because it's like convicts I'm like, no, I am me. I am migrant god from Greeks. I, oh no. You should never go into a into a choke point against an, against an Anivia. 
That was a, such a good barrel, though. Oh, no. Run away. More barrels. More pressure. If I see we carry the as a what? Normally it's not, funnily enough. I I've never like had issues with uh with characters like that ending up being bots. It's actually the opposite. No way. No way! Oh god, I saw it as it was freeze run. I'm like, that's gonna steal! Oh no! Oh wow. Oh dear. Well, he got vision from the barrel and it caused him to be able to steal. Fuck me. Shouldn't have got away with that. Indeed. But they didn't have Hecarim available for that, did they? Oh, they did. He missed it. Fuck it, hell. After all those steals that Hecarim got, he actually missed the smite. Fuck it, hell. Today I stole Dragon Soul with Threshold. Nice. That's the good shit you need. But yes, you got Baron now. But like I said, you should be like try trying to get more pressure around the map by actually like really, really hurting a side lane. Like you really should be doing more. Plus, this is where vision would come in handy. Also, we're past the 15 minute mark. You really should vendor that corrupting pot and actually buy control wards. Because having more wards generally will save you so much trouble, believe me. I think he would have the vision to be able to manage a side lane a lot better too, but he's not doing that. Also, yeah, what's the point in taking demolish if you don't have any side lane pressure at all? That's so confusing to me. You definitely should be managing that, but you're not, and it's really, really bugging me. What's a ward, and why am I letting it control me? Depends. More DPS if you have the pot. Yeah, like two. <laughs> two DPS. There's nothing better to take. Yeah, but that's the point, right? If you're going to take Demolish, like you got to make good use of it. 11 FPS. Yeah, look, it's not going well for him, and that crummy ass laptop he's got I love me too bro <laughs> I don't think I've ever had someone tell me they love me in Twitch chat just out of the blue like that before that's very strange oh that's your IRL friend <laughs> And he said he loves you. Well, that's nice of him. Because I'm tearing you... Oh! <laughs> right, because I'm tearing him a new one. I get it now. I swear, like, a lot of people's friends, like, turn up. And they're just like, Dude, thank you for, like, helping, <laughs> for helping him fucking... I've been trying to tell him for so long. What GP updates did we go in what order? GP updates? I'm still quite sad about your CS against GP, especially since you are ahead. That's the thing, like, he has the op had the opportunity to do so, but he just he just joined fights way too much instead of side laning, and now you're, like, 80-plus CS behind what you're at. GP upgrade. Oh, yeah, the GP upgrades. Right. I completely forgot about that. I just tend to just think that they're there by default now. I keep forgetting about the upgrades. Shouldn't you have the true damage center one first, and then the the speed the the more shot second? I can quickly go back to say play Jackbox with me. Uh, depends when. Also, what happened in this fight? More shots first is better. Oh, they have they changed it since have they? I I understand more shots first gives better DPS, but I feel like if you actually do hit the center mark, it's better for the burst. Man, everyone got jabated by Hecarim, and it took him that long for that kill to come out. At least with everyone being zoned off, it's not a bad thing. But you, again, the problem there is that you just don't have any ability to get onto their carry. 
Meanwhile, Irelia just zips back into the fight and just completely takes you all down. Look at all the Sterax gauges, man. I feel like if you had Shilbo, you'd be able to face tank that a bit better too. Yeah, but when must go is the issue. Nice kill. That was 3-8 Irelia. Yeah, it's now 5-9. But that, that that's the thing. Like, Sterax on its own makes up a lot of the difference. And plus, because of how, like, ahead the Zaya is, there's not a lot of things that they can do unless they actually get on them. Uh, hey, Reapers. How you doing, mate? Hope you're doing well. Who's us, by the way? Who are you playing with? I'll go back to you on that. Okay, bye. Okay, bye! Confused as hell. Also, these sound issues wouldn't happen if recording on OBS too. So next time you're recording with OBS, it's not a not a request. You're 100 percent doing it. Subtiv. Come get some. Hey, new sub, my man. Thank you, Mad Hong Kong, for the Twitch Prime. You rock. Much I love. Welcome to the Binhead Army. Don your bin. Enjoy your emotes, mate. And don't forget to link your account to Discord for the access to the queue and extra channels. Which I love. Fucked up me back, but other than that, all is well. How goes it for you? Well, my back's okay, but the rest of me hurts a little. <laughs> Even though you don't love me back, you deserve it. I love you infinitely more than I did before for subbing. Thank you so much. Really. It means a lot. <laughs> I'm just not used to random, uh, random I love you's being blurted at me in the, in the public eye. It's very strange to me. <laughs> but thank you, really, it means a lot. For a man that's trying to build this as a career, you uh, definitely uh, made me a happy man today. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I just realized I, I, I got distracted for a half second and four people died. So this is, let's just go back to this. It's not even a fight that you were involved in. Did you ulti? No. You didn't even ulti. Rek, I love your beautiful face and magnificent beard. Yeah, look. Thank you. Got an ulti in. Unfortunately, Kate's dead again. You see, with Zaya being dead, that kind of takes out their entire threat in a fight. Even if they kill... Like, even if they kill Caitlyn, you guys can still win this most of the way. What's up, Lazy Cow? How you doing, mate? Full course. If that's supposed to be you telling me you love me in weird owo speak, then thanks. I wouldn't do it if you didn't deserve you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Really. It means a lot. Believe me. <laughs> For someone that questions this a lot, I mean, I've done it before. That, it's true. But yeah. But yeah. <sighs> but yes, the pick on Zaya has paid off dividends because... Well, it's got you Baron now. Only one person is allowed to OO in my chat, and it's not you, Plockter. <laughs> only one person has purchased the license. That's full course. That's the only reason I haven't deleted it every time he does it. As much as it grinds me internally. None of it. Not a single one. Only full course is allowed to be a degen in my chat. Because he has paid the degen tax. He is King Degen. Or King Slophole, as he likes to uh, uh, refer to himself. <laughs> Get out of here, Austin. I can be a degen without that, I choose not to be. Good. Lock camera is really ruining me because I feel like you're actually watching this fight from a distance looking to ult. And then I don't see it because I don't know where the hell you're ulting. I'm not mucking around. Is that a gross score emote? What if I'm okay with being a DJ? And you can be a DJ all you like. You just can't do it in this chat. The John is still available. Why doesn't Bunny have that name? I'm just confused. I feel like you like would have put her straight on it. But then again, Chubrub is still a great name. Gotta weigh those up. No, you cannot. Why don't you just... Why well, you just deleted for it? Now he's actually kind of funny. I feel like he's actually spun it into something funny now, which is really good. You're still suck juice? Nice. You can't ban me, I'm a mod. Watch me.
Like I said, only Full Course has purchased the rights to be a degen in this chat. But I'm a degenerate. Well, that's just fucking unfortunate for you, isn't it? <clears throat> <laughs> what are all these faces Full Course? Now he's just being cheeky. Watching a GP with Baron not split push crushes me. It's killing me a little bit too, actually. Where are you? Look at, like, look where bot wave is right now. Look where top wave is. None of these are pushing towards a base. You've got Baron and you've, like, got the ability to teleport. Why are we not making pressure? Pressure. More squishing. I have trust issues. Look, me too. But they have just as many trust issues watching a... Did Lulu just evaporate? Did anyone... Hang on. Was there not a Lulu there a second ago? I swear there was a Lulu there. You have ult coming up in like 15 seconds, and you have TP. That is a 1,050 crit from Caitlyn. Holy crap stick. You actually bought Serpent Fang for this match. You know what? Considering the Sterax on the enemy team as well, I'm okay with this. I will let it ride. But I say, if I don't see some fucking barrels fly in soon, I'm going to be pissed. Guessing Kate is slightly fed. Not so much. Just hit that big munchy ass crit. You sure that wasn't a GP barrel? I can't even tell. The crit was probably a GP? I thought it was a Caitlyn uh, headshot. Hang on. I'm curious now. Let's go back. Double check. It was, it was was it both at the same time is the better better thought I think that's the Caitlyn shot and the, it's a it's a Q and a Caitlyn shot at the same time that's nasty that is fucking nasty if you are Lulu right now I think you'd feel that Caitlyn actually no there's no Caitlyn assist it's actually just the G, the GP Ooh. Now, can we just, let's just make this abundantly clear then, right? Knowing that you have this damage in the back pocket, why are you not split pushing? Why are you not putting more pressure on the opposite side of the mat? She shielded so serpents dunked it. Yeah, look, the serpent, the serpent fang dunking is actually really well played here. But yeah, there definitely should be some split. <laughs> Someone's having too much fun at your expense. And I think that guy, I think Mad Mon Kong has to submit a VOD as well. We are equal opportunity bullying here. Everyone, everyone gets a roasting. Yes, please here, Boozer's Wukong. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Give me a, I haven't had a Wukong one trick in ages. I'm down for that. The Anivia walls are sending you. Yeah, look, they're definitely like, there've been some awkward timings on there. I tell you that. Who, who is DMCA blasting right now? Wait, the the game cut before the uh, before the thing died. Did they win? <laughs> Keep saying under pressure. There's too many songs that have the word pressure in it. Really, that game was longer than it needed to be. I agree, but. I will give you some credit, and I'm going to just double check this. I need to double check where you put it, because I'm pretty sure... I feel like we've been lied to. There is a, there is a control ward place somewhere that it lasted almost 10 minutes. And I want to know where the fuck it is, because I feel like it wasn't moved into a better spot. Anyway. So that's the thing, like, the Serpent's Fang thing, right? It works really well if you actually do get the shields out, but it's such an awkward, like, placing when it comes to the damage generally. I... I don't know like just how much benefit it has overall, but against the Lulu and against people that were running like two people that were running stacks, go nuts. No OPGGs allowed. You want you want an OPGG review? Here's your OPGG review. That's your OPGG review. Send me a VOD so I can hundred percent roast you. 
good against Yumi. It'd probably be good against any shield, I think. But like I said, I, I'm, I struggle to find really good value out of it generally. Just because of the fact that, like, you have, obviously it needs to be shields on the enemy team. That's the biggest problem. But I think Grievous, like, overrides the need for it uh, by default. Anyway. So, despite this, and the state of the game that, like, we had there. you So, there were two major issues, right? Why do people send games when they win? It doesn't make sense you make a lot more of those than you lose. To be fair, I don't mind games where, like, you win or lose. But I would, I like games that were difficult. Like, I don't want to see a stomp. This game was actually pretty difficult for his team. So it's not a bad thing, like, to send in. Like, this was actually pretty good. Because he felt like he wasn't having a lot of impact. And there was a lot of, like, problems that were arising after lane phase. Because of the fact that despite having a solid dueling session with the Irelia and winning. You still came out behind in CS. And you still weren't hitting those item spikes that you're normally supposed to do. Now... Let's start with the most obvious things, right? Trust issues aside, you need side lane pressure. Like, as Gangplank, you have an ultimate and you have teleport that both both of these will make huge differences overall. You have great wave clear, you have demolish, you have great turret sieging capabilities. You have to utilize those every step of the game, especially when you generate a lead. Because if you keep falling behind on CS, you're going to get run over by the enemy. Which is exactly what happened in mid-game, where Irelia, despite being 5'11", had 271 CS and actually managed to make good on the map by taking other towers and beating you 1v1 at one stage. That's the shit you want to try to avoid. You've got, like, really good, like, map awareness by default because you're actually paying attention to where you use your ulti and where you're putting all, like, the good kills down. Like, you're doing great there. But the problem is you're not actually, like, utilizing that to its fullest extent because you're not taking any lead you're gaining from lane phase, converting it into a CS lead as well as a kill lead, and then you're not side laning later on to actually get more pressure against turrets. They're the main things you need. Just because you get, like, a kill trade in lane doesn't give you a CS lead. So if you can avoid taking that fight and still maintaining a lead by pressuring them out, do that instead. If you're able to get side lane pressure and win out on fights by default, do it. Item build. Go Essence Reaver, Shield Bow, IE, and so on. It will benefit you in the long term. Now, the fact that you went execution is calling here was good, but you shouldn't finish it until you finished other items. Because the completed item is not great. Truthfully, it doesn't give a lot. Next to that, <clears throat> vision game generally, I get that you switched to blue trinket about midway through the game because it was a necessity for your split pushing, but you didn't use it for split pushing. I finished it to reach 60% crit for IE. I still think you would be better off. I mean, obviously granted that this game wasn't particularly great for it, you're going to need other, like, things to work with by default. There will always be, like, there will always be things that you'll need, right? Like, items-wise, you're always going to want particular items. Like, it's just, it's never going, it's going to be a never-ending cycle of, I really need this item, right? But if you're going purely for the consistency sake and for the core, like, of what you're aiming for, totally normal, right? <clears throat> you can use the 3, 4, and 5 are on PC now. I actually bought them all when they were on sale recently for PS4, so maybe I will look at it. But yeah, buying cloaks will fit the crit problem as well. If you had Essence Reaver instead of Tri... Would, yeah, see, that's the thing. Essence Reaver would actually get you to, closer to that spike a lot faster because if you build... So just as an example, I'll just pull this over here so you can see. This is literally what every pro player builds on GP, right? This is an example of what to look at, okay? Now, when you look at this, I want you to be aware of the following. Crit item, crit item, and then from there, some people either build like Navori Quick Blades or uh, like IE or whatever. That gives you the crit by default. Essence, Shield Bow, IE, 60% on its own. Or Essence, can I send the game my loss so you can explain what I could have should? Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, just follow the VOD criteria in my Discord. It's all there. Trust me. 
just follow it. But yeah, in regards to your items there, you want to be able to like hit the 60% crit spike. You will get that from those three core items. Yes, if you divert to an executioner's calling in the middle, you'll be slightly delayed, but you still get the 60% from the core items that you want. Plus, you get a better scaling skip. Let's try that again. You get a better scaling spell blade from I uh, from Essence Reaper. There you go. Sorted. All explained. Also, control wards instead of that piddly ass fucking uh, corrupting pot post 15 minutes. More needs to be placed, especially on a defensive angle for when you're split pushing. It'll all come together because you already have the map awareness. Just start trying to put that into I've got to do more on the side lane. The spell binding effects spell no spell blade effects do not stack. Thank God. Because if they did, people would build Triforce or Sundara plus Essence Reaver and there'd be a lot of problems. Or people would build Triforce Lichbane. Blech. Blech. Ezreal. Blech. <laughs> More spellblade effects. Blah. No, thank you. All right. Now, what have we got? Is this a VOD? It is a VOD. Perfect. I'm going to leave that in the queue. All right. So thank you, Ron the Pump, for sending me that. That means I can do another one today and not feel bad. Woo! Runeglaive to Electric Boogaloo. Do not bring back bad memories like that. You bad, bad man. Okay. So since I have a VOD in the queue and I can do another one for tomorrow, do we want another one today, chat? I think we do. I think we do, since we have we have one that's going to literally be deleted at the end of this. So, yeah. Thoughts? Want another one? I think we do. Do we want another one? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Rick. Do another. I think you do. In conclusion, more split. Mainly, yeah, you're looking at split pushing and doing more, like, around... Because that's the thing. Like, you're, you're doing fine positioning-wise in team fights. And, like, converting the build into something that will give you more throughput in, in mid-late, you'll just, like, I feel like you'll just get the push to go further. Next time I'll live record with OBS. Fuck yeah! Do that. That'll be awesome. So I see your clicks. That's the good shit right there. Then soon, And then sooner or later as well, I get to watch your, your mate send one in too, and then you can both be here to roast each other. <laughs>